All right, hi, this is Ben Hartman. I'm the author of The Lean Farm. And you can see more videos and resources at claybottomfarm.com. And the subject of today's videos is uh, aphid control in a greenhouse. And for some reason, aphids always visit us in the greenhouse. And of the growers I've talked with, aphids are the number one uh, problem insect in a greenhouse. If not number one, they're very high on the list. And a couple of things that we do, number one is prevention. And by prevention, the best is to keep nitrogen levels as low uh, as, as you can. And so you can see we're in a mid, uh, we're in an early spring greenhouse, it's a mid-April. And what you see is typical, there's a mix of, of crops from, from that are finishing off from overwinter, overwinter wintering, and then our uh, peppers and tomatoes that we've set uh, in, amongst the, in amongst the rows. And as the, when we plant our winter crops in here, we try to really lay off the nitrogen on them. With the exception of spinach, some, we almost always have to have a little bit of extra nitrogen on spinach. Um, however, going into the winter, we want as little as we can so that when these spring crops, summer crops come in, um, then they don't have too much because when plants have too much uh, nitrogen, what they'll do is they'll weep that excess nitrogen through their pores. And that's what aphids like to eat. They'll go after it. And they'll leave their sticky poop all over the leaves. And that's what will kill the plant. It's the, my, my two-year-old calls it icky, g icky, sticky, icky, gicky, stewy, uh, gooey, sticky stuff or something like that from uh, Winnie the Pooh. Um, and so in order to, to uh, control the aphids, we've tried different methods, insecticides, we've tried physical removal. And we found that the easiest, the most cost-effective um, and effective is to use beneficial insects. And so in practice, what I'll do is when, uh, uh, as soon as the peppers go in, we'll keep an eagle, we'll keep an eagle eye out on them for aphids. And as soon as I see a, uh, even one aphid on those plants, I'll call up, I'll call up Arbico Organics, uh, which sells uh, beneficial insects. I'll tell them how many plants we have, how big the greenhouse is, and they'll, they'll give me a recommendation on uh, beneficials that they might have. And we have used ladybugs. We've used Colomani wasp. We've used lace wigs, which is what I'm going to apply here. And to be honest, they've all been effective for us. Now, we're mostly going to target the peppers because we haven't seen that aphids do much damage to tomatoes, even though there are a few aphids on the tomatoes. It's mostly the, the peppers that we're concerned about. So a couple of tips. Number one is to, to overhead irrigate before you have, uh, release the, uh, the lace wigs. And the reason is this will help the lace wig to find the leaf because these guys are thirsty after uh, their trip and uh, or they'll be thirsty as soon as they hatch. What we have here are about 5,000 eggs. So there aren't actual lace wigs uh, in here but eggs are about ready to hatch. And the second tip is to uh, spread these guys out as evenly as you can which takes kind of a fine touch with your finger. And so I'll show you how we do this. We're basically going to open this and let these 5,000 eggs out on the plants and we're going to distribute them uh, throughout the greenhouse as evenly as we can focusing on the peppers which are, peppers are over here. Okay, so that's basically the technique. So use your index finger, tap. Okay, well that's our aphid control in the greenhouse. And I should say too, we're gonna do this on a weekly basis for three weeks. You can order these on a program uh, so that they're shipped on a weekly basis to you. And, and that seems to really help instead of just one application. Okay, hey, Ben Hartman, thanks for watching and see more at claybonfarm.com.